expand two brackets and simplify. Okay, there's a couple of methods for doing this. The most common one you'll see is one called FOIL. First, outer, inner, last. That's a way of remembering that there are four parts to this. There's the first part where you multiply the first two, first two things in each bracket. Then there's the bit where you multiply the outer two. And then the inner two. And then the last two. Now I can't refer to this as the smiley face method because it looks a little bit like a smiley face. Um, if you squint your eyes a bit. Or, if you find yourself making mistakes on this a lot, the best way to remember it, where you, you, you clearly can't make a mistake, is to use a multiplication grid where you do 4, sorry, x plus 4 and x plus 5. And then you've got the x times the x, which is x squared, 4 times x, which is plus 4x, x times 5, which is plus 5x, and 4 5s, which are 20. And then you won't forget there's four parts to the answer. Now, often, if you write the answer like this, you'll get uh, one mark, and then you must simplify the middle two, if they can be simplified, to get the second mark. Now, it's all very well and good when they're all positives, but when you start to get some negatives, it makes it a little bit trickier. Uh, so we go first, outer, in uh, the last two. So a times a which is a squared, a times 5 which is 5a, three, minus 3 times a which is minus 3a, and minus 3 times 5 which is, whoops, be careful, minus 15. And then we combine the two in the middle, we get a squared minus 2a minus 15. Let's use the grid method again for this one. Now this is a more complicated one because we've got multiple letters. So we've got 2c minus 3, 3c minus 7, 2c times 3c, 2 3s are 6. A common mistake there would be to forget your times in an add. C, c, c times c is c squared, minus 3 times 3c is minus 9c, 2c times minus 7 is minus 14c, minus 3 times minus 7 is plus 21. So we end up with 6c squared minus 9c minus 14c plus 21. Combine the two middle ones we get 6c squared minus 23c plus 21. And one to, the M to end with which doesn't have the same letter in both, it has different letters. Let's uh, use the smiley face. 2a times b is 2ab. 2a times minus 6 is minus 6 times 2, which is 12a. And 2a times, sorry, not 2a, 9 times b is 9b. And 9 times minus 6 is minus 54. And that can't be simplified because you've got 12a and 9b in the middle, they don't cancel. So we've got four terms there. Okay, let's, let's practice some. So here's four practice questions. I've got one I've thrown in here that uh, might fool you, but uh, we'll go through it in a minute. Pause the video and have a go at these. Okay. Now, I'm not going to draw out the grids for these. I'm just going to go through and do the answers. Uh, when you get good at these, you can just work them through. You've just got to remember there's four parts. You've got x squared. You've got 6x, 3x, which is 9x and six threes are eighteen. This is a tricky one. Quite often the most most common mistake people do is just to square the y and square the minus three and even get that wrong when it should be plus nine and get minus nine. But that's wrong because there's only two parts there. You've got to remember that when you're squaring a, bra a whole bracket that's the same thing times by itself. So we've got y times y is y squared. Minus three y minus another three y is minus six y and minus 3 times minus 3 is plus 9. 5d times 2d is 10d squared. 5d times minus 8 is minus 40d. 4 times 2 is 8d. Minus 40 plus 8 is minus 32d. 
and 8 4 is a 32 so minus 32 and the last one we've got separate letters here P and Q PQ and then we've got uh, minus 4P plus 3Q and minus 12 there we go